Welcome to my next tutorial on descriptors. In a nutshell, a class that implements get, set, or delete methods for an object is known as descriptor. So what does it mean and why we need descriptors in Python? Descriptors provide access control for the attributes of other classes. Using descriptors, you can validate the input data. For example, if you want to have only integer values for an attribute age or string for an attribute name, Descriptors provide simple and elegant solution to these scenarios. Let's see some examples to understand descriptors in Python. In this example, I have class person and it contains two instance attributes, name and age. In my magic method string, I print both name and age attributes using built-in function format. Now in main, I have created an instance of class person having name attribute set to Sam and age attribute set to integer value 20. In next line, I print object1 using my string method. If you look at the output, everything works fine. Now in next line, I have created another instance of class person having name attribute set to John and age attribute set to integer value minus 20. Because Python is dynamic language, so it doesn't support type checking. So the age attribute which I have set to minus 20 is actually invalid, but Python doesn't care. Now what I can do, I can check the age attribute using if statement in my init method. If the age attribute is less than 0 or greater than 120, I raise an exception. Now when I set the age to minus 20, Python raises an exception. So everything works fine for now. Now in my next example, my age attribute has a string value, which shouldn't also be the case. Again, I can go the conventional way and implement my own version of type checking in my init method using if statement. Now again everything works fine and Python gives me exception if age is not between 0 and 120 or if age is not an integer value. But what if I change the age attribute later in my code and set it to minus 20 or to string 20. As you can see the output, type checking is only done in the init method. Now suppose I don't have only age attribute, but many other attributes like name, address, city, etc. Which also require type checking, and I also want that some of them are read only. If you have Java background, a quick solution that comes to your mind is the getters and setter methods. But that is not the Pythonic way to solve such problems. In Python, descriptors provide solution to all these issues we have discussed before. As I mentioned before, descriptor is any object that implements any of get, set, or delete magic methods of descriptor protocol. And they give you extra control over how attributes work. My descriptor class contains four methods, init, get, set, and delete methods. It is important to mention that descriptor class can also contain any other attributes or methods other than get, set, and delete methods if necessary. In my init method, I set local variable age to 0. The double underscore means that local variable age is private. The get method is used to retrieve the attributes. And in my example, it returns the private attribute age. The get method takes three arguments. The descriptor object itself, instance, which is the instance of class that contains a descriptor object instance. In my example, it is object 1 and the owner, which is the class to which the instance belongs. In my example, it is class person. The set method is called when a value is set to the attribute and it returns nothing. The set method has two arguments in addition to standard cell. They are instance, this is same as it is in the get method, and the argument value, which is the value that you assign to the attribute. In my set method, I check whether the value I want to assign to age attribute is an instance of class integer. If not, I raise a type error exception. In next line, I check if value is between 0 and 120. If not, then I raise value error exception. The delete method is called when the attribute is deleted from an object and it returns nothing. It takes only one argument, instance. This is the same as it is in the get and set methods. In my delete method, I delete the attribute age. I haven't changed anything in my person class except I have created an instance age of my descriptor. 
It is very important to mention that an instance of descriptor must be added to a class as class attribute and not as instance attribute. In my init method, I set my local variable age to instance age and this casts the set method of my descriptor. Now in main, I have created an instance of class person by calling the initializer method. And if you look at the output, everything works fine. But if I try to create an instance of class person with age less than 0 or greater than 120, Python raises an exception. Similarly, my age attribute cannot have string value. Now if I try to set age attribute to an invalid value, later in my program, Python throws an exception. So we have achieved what we wanted. But as I have told you before, the descriptors are linked to the classes, not to instances. So every time when the value in descriptor changes, it also changes for all instances. For example, if I create another instance of class person, the data stored in attributes of object 1 will be overwritten. So to store different data for each instance, the descriptor need to maintain a dictionary that maps instance to instance specific values. The simplest way to solve this problem is to use a dictionary attribute in descriptor. In this example, the local variable age is of type dictionary. In my get method, I use the instances as keys. Similarly, in my set and treat method, I use the instances as keys. Now in main, when I create another instance of class person, it doesn't override the attributes of object 1. So everything works fine. But this solution leads to a new problem, that is memory leakage. Having attribute of type dictionary in descriptor can cause a huge memory leak. Because descriptors live in the class, so everything stored in the dictionary lives forever. Even if you delete the objects, objects will not be garbage collected because they have still references in descriptors. Another solution is to use weak reference standard module. I will not go into details how weak reference module works, but it is very easy to use. In this example, I have imported wiki dictionary class from weak reference module. In my init method, I have created an instance of wiki dictionary class. The unique behavior of wiki dictionary class will remove all the instances from its set of keys when it knows that it is holding the instance last remaining reference in the program. Now again everything works fine. However, there are also other possible solutions available. For example, you can also store the value on an object itself. Which solution you choose depends on your requirements. The aim of my tutorial was to give the basic knowledge over descriptors in Python. So I will not cover other possible solutions in this tutorial. Further, the objects that implement only the get method are called non-data descriptors, meaning such attributes are only readable, while objects implementing the get and set methods are data descriptors, which means such attributes are also writable. Thank you for watching my tutorial and please subscribe my channel for other and future tutorials.